happens uh, with your neck and your low back. Tell me, which is the worst of these, neck or low so back? So the neck was um, probably the past month and a half or so. Okay. Every time we lay down in bed, it's like five minutes in, and the, the left side, so like kind of the upper left side, just gets really sore. It's almost like a spasm mm -hmm. where it just it gets really like a sharp pain for like, I don't know, 15 seconds. And then it kind of chills out a little bit. But um, recently, probably the last week or so, it's it's gotten better. But I was kind of having to get in weird positions to make my neck comfortable. Um, and it probably, I'd say it lasted about a month where it was kind of like that. Okay. Um, and then the low back, I would say, is probably like a lifelong thing almost. I feel like I've always just had like dull pain in my low back. Um, I've never really been able to touch my toes just from like hamstrings. So I've always had really tight hamstrings. Um, and I sort of thought I was just doomed to that, but after watching enough videos, I'm like, you yeah, know, maybe adjusting might help that out a little bit. So, um, okay, so you've never been adjusted? No. Okay, great. These are my favorite kinds of adjustments. <laughs> yeah, right. I love first time ever chiropractic yeah. adjustments. Um, okay, so let's go back to the neck pain. Have you had any uh, pain that goes down your arms, shoulders, no. numbness or tingling in your fingertips? No, really just in the neck. Okay, very good. Uh, what about the low back? Have you ever had any pain that goes down your legs? No, no pain down the leg. Okay, let's see here. What's this? Um, it says have you had in the spinal X-rays, MRI, CT scan section? You wrote twenty. Oh. Oh, I wrote no. Oh no. <laughs> yes, man. That's a cool line though. I like the way it dips down underneath and <laughs> hooks up. Uh, do you ever get any dizziness? Uh no. no Fainting, no. lightheadedness. No. Okay, very good. Okay, you qualify for a decompression today. That's good. Cool. All right, so um, is there anything else that you think is relative that you want to tell me? Not really. Right. Um, Let's do an exam then, Mike. We'll sure. uh, take a look at your spine. I'll talk you through the whole thing. Sure. When we get to the adjustment, we'll practice one. There won't be any surprises or anything. Cool. Um, and then uh, we'll just take it one step at a time. If you have any questions, shout them out. Sure. Go ahead and walk in place for me and march in place. Good. All right, we got the high left shoulder here. Okay, looking at the... Feet first, keep going. Okay. Yeah, I don't see any rotations, I don't see any supination, pronation, no external internal rotations, nice and straight on, straight up and down with the left leg and right leg lifting up. That's good. Let's see if there's um, any rotations in your pelvis like this. Good, we've got a high right hip. Good, matches the high left shoulder. All right, I'm, you're going to feel my fingers on the back of your hamstrings now, Mike. We're just okay. going to see if there is any discrepancy in glute fiber here. Lower on the right, so possible posterior, inferior on the right. Okay, we're going to look from the top. Here, bring your feet together. Okay. Good. Good. Very minimal, but possibly an external on the left. Good. We're going to feel the glute fibers for hypertonicity, hypotonicity. This all feels pretty good there. Height of the shoulders first. Good. High left shoulder. Okay, that matches and it's consistent. Good. High right hip, also consistent on the SI joints. So let's palpate the SI joints first. You have a little bit of a scar here over your right SI joint. You know what that's from? I think it might have been from swimming, uh, brushing against the wall years ago. Okay. And scarred over top of your spine right here too. Same thing? Yeah, I, I knew one of them is from the swimming. I don't know what the other one is. Okay. All right, any tenderness here? No. Left side, tenderness here? No. Uh, is either one of these more tender than the other? No, neither one's tender. They're the same, either one's even tender. How about down here, lower SI joint? No. This one too is good? Yeah, not tender. Okay, we're gonna push into the lumbar spine here. Tenderness, discomfort? A little bit there. That's a five. Hill four. Tenderness discomfort. A little bit. Good enough. Hill three. Tenderness discomfort. Same thing. All of them. Not not a big pain, but a little bit. Good. There's a little bit more hypertonicity. Try to let this relax as we can. The hypertonicity is on the left side here, so we're gonna push into that side first. Does this feel like this? Right side a little more tender. Right side is tender. The side of hypotonicity. That's good. Does this feel like this? About the same on that. Okay, that's good. Okay, so we're going to focus on the lumbar spine for this back pain. 
Let's see the top of the rope here in the neck. Alright, trap fibers. We're definitely a little bit more tender on the left. Okay, that's the side of the pain. That's good. Or excuse me, tense. This guy right here. Yeah. Later scapula. Both of those spots on the left and the right always are super sore. Right now these feel the same? Uh, yeah, similar. I, I tell Gabby it's that's the spot. Like that's why I always want her to massage like yeah. right in that area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are, the, these are the stress muscles right here. Yeah. These are the, your shoulders are in your ears all the time. Okay, let's feel out the rhomboid muscles here. Okay, not too bad on the rhomboid. Good movement on both sides. If you look like it underneath this, it's good. Okay, bring your chin down to your chest. Good. Oh yeah, a little swelling there. Back up. C5. Down. Okay, there's really not a whole lot of movement in C6 either. Yeah, it's a little tender in there too. Okay. Good. Let's test this atlas. Tender. A little bit on the right side. Tender. Which one more? Right. More on the right. Left. Right. Tender atlas. A little bit of edema. See, I feel that like squishy. Mm -hmm. there. A little bit of swelling outside of the joint. Okay, bring your chin down to your chest. Good. Oh yeah, a little swelling there. Back up. C five. Down. Okay, there's really not a whole lot of movement in C six either. Yeah, it's a little tender in there, too. Okay. Good. Let's test this atlas. Tender. A little bit on the right side. Tender. Which one more? Right. More on the right. Left. Right. Tender atlas. A little bit of edema. See, I feel that, like, squishy mm -hmm. there. A little bit of swelling outside of the joint. Okay, nice and straight up and down, though, Mike. I feel like I have to, to sit like this, I really have to try. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, it's a uh, posture is effort. It's a meditation. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just like being present and uh, it just requires uh, intention and energy. Um, but like these postural deviations, high shoulder, high hip are normal. There's no deviations to the left or right, no curvatures here. I don't suspect any herniated discs, no pinched nerves. Okay. Uh, so very straightforward, very symmetrical. Your constitution is uh, is very even as well. I mean, you, you seem like a balanced person so far. Anyway. Okay, I'm going to push down to your pelvis here, Mike. Do you have no. any pain, discomfort, tension here? No. Good. Left side here? No. Okay, good. SI joint compression test is clear. Any L5 here? A little tender. Here? A little bit, yeah. More or less? Uh, about the same. Okay. Okay, let's see if it's still tenderness on the right. Tender, tender. Yeah, a little more so on the right. Okay, right short stays short. Okay. Uh, and then it, and then it, uh, when I bend them, it does not balance out. So that actually points to your left SI joint as the primary. Okay. Uh, primary target, but you're also the most tender here at your L4, L5, and so it just depends on which technique you're using. I'm using multiple techniques at once, so we're going to try to, to help figure out which is the best way to adjust your spine. Okay, now let's see what's up with these trap fibers here, and if any of this shoulder tension is, is making its way up to. Yeah, it's all tender in there. Yeah, this thing right here? Mm -hmm. Okay, what about this side over here? Yeah, both pretty tender. Okay, good. All that spit tender, everything in there. Mm -hmm. Is this one the worst or is this one the worst? That one. Okay. Mm -hmm. How long have you uh, been uh, gardening? A couple of years. For a business? Yeah, we started a business. Um, I guess this is the end of our second fall season. Where do you get your boulders from? Uh, we actually get a lot of what are called Pennsylvania boulders, but we got um we got some rock yards near us. Okay.
Do a nice gentle breathing. I'm gonna lower this headpiece down just a little bit. Okay. Is your face comfortable? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Just gonna work out some of this tension here before we start doing some adjusting. Trapezius muscle is a big muscle. It goes from the top bottom of the skull all the way down to this part of your spine, all the way out to the side. This is reacting too. It's good spasms in there. It's good. This is one of the primary postural muscles. Keeps us, up, keeps us up upright in gravity. Okay, general condition of your spine is very good though, Mike. You've got good flexibility in here. Good, good flexibility, good symmetry all around. It's good you work for a living, lifting things, lifting yeah, right. things. Okay, little spine stretch here. Deep breaths in through your nose, out through your nose. Two more. That was relaxing, yeah. Yeah, right. Well, it's got like that trance quality to it. Just that. Kind of like that Baroque period, like 60 beats per minute. They've done all the studies that show you, like, you retain information, like, if you study with with Mozart Baroque playing while you're uh, studying or reading. Just different ways that music as a vibration, that music as a frequency has an effect on us. Okay, good. Nice and bouncy here. Your spine is in really good shape. Good. I think we should have no problem adjusting your lumbar spine here, and this is all very straightforward mechanical. But this is more of a mix of muscle. There isn't a whole lot of muscle stuff going on down here, but there is more muscle stuff happening, muscle tension. Okay. It's newer, it's acute, so it's probably much easier to fix. It's already getting better before I even touched it, before it even came in, so I can't uh, you know, claim to make anything better, really. Your body always wants to heal. Your body always moves towards balance, so... Makes my job easier. Let's see. All right, I've got about five minutes here that we can do some some of the sound medicine. So like this was really going down before ASMR. Before I even knew about ASMR, I was doing this kind of work on people. I was telling Gabby about it. Okay, cool. So the whole the idea. You guys familiar with like Native Americans banging on drums and making it rain and doing doing the dances, you know? Well, music is like a meditation in a way that it keeps us present in the room, in the moment, in the now. So as long as you're listening to the sound, do this, then that means you're present in the now. It means you're not like thinking about the future and like the, the to-do list. You're not thinking about the past, shoulda, woulda, couldas. You're just right here, right now, all the time. That's why music is so powerful. And then you get like 30,000 people in a stadium all singing together. And like when you're singing, you're breathing. You can't sing without exhaling. So it's like, ah, whatever the words are, ah, we're all breathing at the same time. And like really incredible things happen when you have group mind at work and like lots of people are focused on one thing. So like when one person is focused on something, you absolutely can... Where, where attention goes, energy flows. And so that's the idea of this right here, right now. Is like our intention is pretty simple, Mike. We're going to help out with some of this neck tension. 
We're gonna see what we can do about this low, low back stuff, achiness that you're having. But if you have any other intentions that you wanna throw into the in the air, now's a good time. You too, Gabby. Anyone can make an intention at any time. And then the idea is just to be present with that intention as we drift into the trance. And like the, the key behind all shamanic medicine is the trance. And whether you get people into a trance through a, a medicine or just with a drum, you know, this is the drum. It's like everyone's dancing around the fire, everyone's on the same vibe, everyone's on the same pulse. It's like the there's this one like river in Africa where all the lightning bugs are they come out in the summer and and then they all start off all sporadic. They're all lighting up all over the place. It seems really chaotic. And then over time, you just start to see all of the all of the lights being lit lit or they're all glowing and they're all just pulsing. And every single lightning bug, just millions of them are all just lighting their lights at the same time. And then that becomes their indicator for uh, reproductive success. So like the more in sync you are, the more in tune you are with the group, the more likely they are as lightning bugs to reproduce. And so, so we're all kind of on that um, wave. And so consciousness awareness is part of that, like of, of this right here, bring us present that we know we know that we're progressing and moving towards our intention and uh, because manifesting reality never is is never about just thinking something and it comes true although that does particular uh, does seem to happen but really the the really important uh, soulful intentions require the input require the energy effort Okay, Mike, you ready to get cracked? Sure. All right, cool. We're gonna do conservative. I don't have to push hard for your spine because you don't have a whole lot of tension in here because you play music in the garden. Good, as we get to the bottom of your breath, that's where we're gonna push right from there, okay? Okay. Okay, conservative first, not gonna push hard. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. Good, and out. It's sinking in, let the shoulder, good, you're, you're good, nice and relaxed there, good. Good, 
Make shoulders sink in good. Let me all go. Good end out. But this time I'm gonna push a little bit quicker at the top of the breath right there. So let's do that same breath again in. Good, and let the shoulders relax as you breathe out. There we go. Perfect. Good, this time we're gonna pull the hip a little bit further along like this, because we like it underneath of this L5. Good, following this breath out, we're gonna bring this down just a little bit. Good, lean your back. And out. Good, we're gonna bring the shoulder up and the hip down. Good, lean your back. Perfect. Just go ahead and turn your head to the right. Good, just like that. And then back to center. Now to the left. Good. Center. Go ahead and be pushing this direction. Good. Good, 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 good. All the way at the top here. C1, C2. Good, 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 good. All right, let's follow the next breath out. Go ahead and just let your head drop into the table. Just like that. Uh-huh. Okay. That was a good one. Good, again, just following the breath. We're still at the top of the spine here. We're gonna just C2, 3 on the right. Good, following the breath. Good, sinking in, letting this all go. Good. No big toes on either side. <laughs> One more time. Man, just like this. Okay. Just a little pull. We're gonna go back to that one. Good. How's your digestive system? Pain, uh, bloating, pain when you eat? No, um, there's been times in my life I've gotten uh, heartburn. Mm. Um, but usually that's related to me uh, eating too much pizza and stuff like that. If mm -hmm. I'm eating well, I don't really get any. Okay. That's fair. Stender? Uh, not too bad? Not too bad. It's, good. it's pyloric sphincter here. That's where the stomach empties into the small intestine. Okay. Yours feels active right now. Did you eat on the way here or something? No. no? <laughs> Just yeah. always active. If yeah. you know how much I eat. Uh... He hasn't eaten anything today, though. No? Right? Uh, no, I haven't eaten today. So is that the usual thing? You know, I did uh, OMAD for a while, and uh, a you know, one meal a day. Oh, okay. And it's it's not something I always do, but um, I if I find if I have big lunches a lot of times, I just get totally yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna follow the next breath out. Good and out. Good. Sinking in shoulders and hips. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that was intense. Uh, did you feel it all the way down? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what did that look like? It's wild, like the YouTube videos that you've been showing. <laughs> but I do feel pretty loose in general. Oh yeah. Sorry, I, could, I could try a test for my tennis. I mean, I know that. That's pretty good. Legs aren't totally straight, but... A little bit of knee bend there. Uh, back against me here. Let's push. Are you again? We're good. Right side push. That's good. Good. Now relax. 